Did you know that in Africa's endless savanna, humans are not the hunters? We're the hunted? Out here, survival isn't guaranteed. It's a daily fight between life and death. Imagine walking through tall golden grass, the wind brushing your face. But somewhere, unseen eyes are watching you. Beneath the calm river surface, jaws sharper than knives are waiting. In the night, laughter echoes. Not human laughter, but the chilling call of hyenas closing in. The African savanna is one of the most beautiful places on Earth, yet also one of the most deadly. Every shadow hides a predator. Every sound could mean danger. From crocodiles that strike in silence to lions that stalk like ghosts in the moonlight. These animals don't just attack when threatened. Some actually hunt humans. And what's even more shocking, the most dangerous killer of all is something so small, you wouldn't even notice it until it's too late. Stay until the end, because the final creature on this list is responsible for more human deaths than any other animal on the planet. Beneath the shimmering surface of Africa's rivers lies one of nature's most terrifying ambush predators, the Nile crocodile. At first glance, the water looks peaceful. Birds sing, the sun reflects like glass. But below, a 16-foot monster waits, completely still, its eyes just above the surface, watching everything. The Nile crocodile doesn't chase, it waits. Sometimes for hours, even days, blending perfectly with floating logs and muddy water. Then, the moment a human or animal comes too close, boom! In less than a second, those jaws snap shut with a force strong enough to crush bone. It doesn't just drag you under, it performs what's called a death roll, spinning violently to tear its prey apart before swallowing it whole. And here's the shocking part. This isn't rare. Experts estimate Nile crocodiles kill over 2,000 people every single year, making them one of the deadliest animals in Africa. Some tribes even have legends warning children not to swim near calm waters, because the river has eyes. Imagine that. A predator that doesn't need to chase, doesn't roar, doesn't move. It just waits. But if you think that's scary, wait until you hear what hunts people on land, and it's not a lion. When the sun disappears behind the horizon of the savanna, a strange laughter fills the air. It's not human. It's the chilling call of the spotted hyena, one of Africa's most underestimated but ruthless predators. Many people think hyenas are just scavengers, stealing leftovers from lions, but that's only half true. In reality, these creatures are coordinated hunters, working in packs that can outsmart and overpower almost anything, even humans. Imagine camping under the stars, hearing distant giggles echo through the darkness, then realizing the sound is getting closer. Hyenas have an incredible sense of smell and can track the scent of blood or cooked meat from miles away. Once they find their target, they don't hesitate. They attack in groups, circling their prey, biting with jaws that can crush bones like dry sticks. There are documented cases where hyenas have entered African villages at night, dragging people from their huts while they slept. One horrifying story from Malawi tells of a single hyena attacking six villagers before disappearing back into the night, laughing. Their laugh isn't joy, it's communication. A signal between pack members, the hunt is on. So the next time you hear laughter in the African night, you'd better hope it's human. But if you think hyenas are terrifying, 
Wait until you meet a predator that once stopped an entire railway project because it developed a taste for human flesh. Everyone calls the lion the king of the jungle. But in 1898, two lions from Tsavo, Kenya, showed the world what happens when the king decides to hunt humans. During the construction of a railway bridge across the Tsavo River, workers began to vanish, one by one. At first, people thought it was disease or maybe crocodiles. But soon, survivors started whispering about glowing eyes stalking the camps at night. The truth was more terrifying. Two male lions with no manes, massive and silent, were sneaking into tents and dragging men away in their sleep. These lions didn't hunt for hunger. They hunted for sport. For nine months, the attacks continued, spreading panic through the camp. Workers refused to stay. Some fled into the wilderness. When British officer John Patterson finally tracked them down, he discovered the beasts had already killed over 30 men. Some reports say even more than 100. The man-eaters of Savo became legends, their skulls now preserved in the Field Museum of Chicago. Grim reminders that even humans can become prey. Modern scientists believe the lion's teeth were damaged, making it harder to hunt normal prey, forcing them to turn to humans. But whatever the reason, they changed history forever. So next time you see a lion in the distance, remember, sometimes the king doesn't protect, he rules by fear. But if you think lions are bad, the next killer looks cute and chubby, yet it's more deadly than any big cat alive. It looks slow, fat, and almost funny, but don't be fooled. The hippopotamus is one of Africa's most unpredictable and deadliest killers. Most people think of hippos as gentle vegetarians lounging in the river, but in truth, they're territorial monsters with a temper you don't want to test. Beneath the calm water, a 3,000 kilogram body hides, with jaws wide enough to snap a canoe in half or crush a human skull in a single bite. Imagine gliding across a peaceful African river at sunset. The air is warm. The water glows gold. Suddenly, bam, a huge shadow explodes from beneath, flipping your boat like a toy. Before you can react, the water turns red. Hippos attack anything that enters their space. Boats, crocodiles, even lions. They can run faster than humans on land and swim faster than you could ever escape underwater. Every year, hippos kill an estimated 500 people, more than lions, leopards, and elephants combined. And they don't even eat meat. They kill simply to protect what's theirs. Locals call them the river's demons, because when one charges, not even bullets can stop it in time. So next time you see a smiling hippo meme online, remember, that grin hides the jaws of death. But if you think that's terrifying, the next animal doesn't roar or charge. It silently watches from the trees, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. When darkness falls over the African savanna, a new hunter awakens, silent, invisible, and almost supernatural. This is the leopard, the ultimate assassin of the wild. Unlike lions that roar or hyenas that laugh, the leopard makes no sound. You won't hear it coming. You won't see it until it's too late. With golden fur covered in perfect black rosettes, it melts into the shadows like smoke. One second, it's gone. The next, it's already behind you. Leopards are ambush masters. They don't chase, they stalk, watching, waiting, 
every muscle perfectly still until the final moment. A burst of power so fast, even prey with sharp instincts has no time to scream. But what makes this animal truly terrifying is that some have developed a taste for humans. In Tanzania, one legendary leopard nicknamed the Man-Eater of Rudra Prayag was said to have killed over 30 people in a single region. It entered huts at night, dragging victims away while others watched helplessly. Their strength is unreal. A single leopard can drag a full-grown antelope up a tree with its jaws alone. Now imagine what that means if you were the target. Locals say that if you feel the hairs on your neck rise at night, it's already too late. The ghost has chosen you. But if you think that's the scariest thing on land, wait until you meet the next beast. It doesn't hunt for food, it hunts for revenge. They call it the Black Death. Not because of disease, but because when this beast charges, something dies. The Cape Buffalo may look like an oversized cow, but in Africa, even lions think twice before attacking it. Massive, muscular, and unpredictable, this animal is responsible for killing hundreds of people every year. Not out of hunger, but out of rage. You see, the Cape Buffalo never forgets. Hunters say that when they wound one and fail to finish the job, the buffalo doesn't run away. It disappears into the brush, waits, and comes back for them. There are stories of men returning to retrieve their kill, only to be ambushed from behind by the same buffalo they thought was dead. When it charges, it moves like a tank. 900 kilograms of raw power, with horns curved forward like twin blades. Its eyes lock on you and it doesn't stop. Not for trees, not for bullets, not for screams. Even lions hunt them in groups because a single mistake can mean instant death. Imagine walking through tall grass, hearing nothing but your own breath. And suddenly, the bushes explode. You don't see it. You don't have time to react. That's the last sound most people ever hear. The thunder of hooves and the crack of bone. But the final creature on our list doesn't need horns or claws. It's tiny, silent, and invisible. Yet it kills more humans than all these predators combined. After all the lions, crocodiles, and buffaloes, the deadliest hunter in Africa isn't big or strong or even visible. It's this tiny creature, the mosquito. Seems unbelievable, right? But this small, buzzing insect kills more humans every year than any other animal on Earth. Not with teeth or claws, but with disease. Deep in the African night, as you sleep under a thin mosquito net. The sound you dread the most is a faint bzzz. One single bite from an infected mosquito can inject parasites that cause malaria, a disease responsible for killing over 400,000 people every year, most of them in Africa. It doesn't roar, it doesn't chase, it doesn't even make you bleed. You might not even feel it, but inside your body, the real battle begins. Fever, chills, and delirium as your immune system fights for your life. For centuries, humans have built traps, burned fires, and invented repellents. Yet this tiny assassin still rules the night. Ironically, it's not the giant predators that shape our fear of Africa. It's something so small, it could fit on your fingertip. The deadliest animal isn't the one with the biggest teeth. It's the one you can't see coming. Nature never stops surprising us. But if you think this is terrifying, wait until you see the creatures that kill with a single drop of venom. Click here and prepare for the top 10 most venomous creatures on Earth.
The African savanna, it's breathtaking, vast, and wild. But beneath its golden beauty lies a brutal truth. Here, survival is never guaranteed. We've seen monsters with jaws strong enough to crush bone, hunters that laugh in the dark, kings that feast on men, and giants that kill without mercy. Yet in the end, it wasn't the lion or the crocodile or even the buffalo that proved to be the deadliest. It was a mosquito, a creature so small, yet responsible for shaping human history. That's the terrifying balance of nature. Power doesn't always roar. Sometimes it whispers. Out here, every life is part of a fragile chain, hunter and hunted, predator and prey. And maybe that's why the savanna feels so alive because death is always close by. But one thing is certain, in this vast wilderness, humans are not at the top. We're just another species trying to survive. So next time you picture Africa's wildlife, remember, the beauty you see hides stories written in blood, instinct, and survival. Nature never stops surprising us. And if you think these killers are terrifying, just wait until you meet the ones that don't need claws or fangs. Creatures so toxic, a single sting or bite can end a life in seconds. Click here to watch the top 10 most venomous creatures on Earth. Which of these deadly hunters shocked you the most? Tell us in the comments. And remember, in the wild, curiosity can be dangerous.